Hi everyone, I just wanted to go over a few quick ways in which you can manage your own class list. So meaning enrolling, unenrolling your own students, EAs, and even your principal. And you'll notice that now everyone has their own class here in the eHub. It will look something like this. It'll say your name, your school, and have a 2021 at the end of it. That's your course for this upcoming school year. And we're gonna give you some control in that class to upload content and enroll and unenroll students as well. So to get started in your class, you will click up here on the course waffle. If you've got your course pinned, it'll also show up down here under the My Courses widget. So you can just click on that course. And now we're inside your course. Uh, once you're here, you can see the regular course homepage. And let's click on class list. Once you've clicked on class list, you'll see yourself enrolled. That's all you should see right now. High school teachers will see something different. High school runs a little differently and you'll already see your students there, but you still have the ability to enroll your EAs, your principal or unenroll students as we get into the school year. So to add participants, you can see the nice big blue add participants button right here. All you wanna do in here is add existing users. Please never create and enroll or import users, only add existing users. So once we've clicked that, now we're at the add existing users area. And all you have to do here is search for your students. So you can search their first name, their last name, or both, whatever you wanna do. And it will pull up a list of any existing users with that name you searched. So let's choose this student here. Check beside their name. Go over to role. There's two different roles you're going to use for students. That's it and that's all. If you're enrolling a high school, grade nine or above student, you use the student role right here. And if you're elementary from K to eight, you use the LM student role here. That is it. Please don't try and use any other roles for students. Things won't work properly for them. So it has to be student for high school or LM student for elementary. Once you've checked off the box, selected the role, click on enroll student. That's it and you're done. If we go back and look at the class list, there's the student I've just enrolled. Now they're in your class. Um, when they log in, you'll see when they've accessed your class and they'll have access to your classroom. Uh, you can also do the same thing for EAs and your principals. So all you would do is click on add existing users, search for your EA, check off the box beside them, go over, and EAs have their own role and it's called EA support. So for any EA you're entering, it's EA support. If you're adding a CYW, there's a, there's a role for CYW. If you're adding an ECE, there's a role for ECE as well. So search their name, select the role, put them in. You can do the same for principals. You'll see a principal role down at the bottom. The, when you enroll someone as a principal, they don't show up in the class list. Uh, that's just the way the principal role is. But if you want to enroll your principal so they show up in the class list and have a little more power in your class, you can enroll them as a teacher. So that's, that's up to you. So just to review that, EAs have a role, CYWs have a role, ECEs, principals, and you can enroll other teachers as well or just enroll your principal as a teacher. And once you do, they'll show up right down here in your class list. And that's who has access to your room. No one else has access to your room. Um, if you end up searching for someone and you cannot find them or they don't show up, um, you can always try searching for their OEN number. That's how everyone's identified uniquely in here. If that doesn't work, uh, email me, I'll figure out the problem. If you ever run into a situation that you need to remove a student, which does happen from time to time, it's quite a simple process. All you would do is click next to their name when you're in your class list. So click next to their name and click on unenroll. Say yes, and they've been removed from your class. If you mistakenly unenroll a student, you can easily put them back in. They won't lose any work. They won't won't miss out on anything. Everything is still attached to the student, so don't worry about that. But that's how you'd unenroll a student if, if necessary. If you run into any issues, please email me. Please let me know. If you're having trouble just doing this, please email me. Let me know and I can give you a hand with it. Give it a try. Uh, best of luck. Take care.